The segment's called Heavy or Not, and I'm Mark Rodericus, a producer. I'm also an activist, blogger, and candidate for office. We're going to hear public comment from Mr. Malloy, the president of Pittsburgh FOP, Fraternal Order of Police. He's addressing city council in early April about the settlement to pay Commander McNeely $85,000. Here are his words from that day. I'm the president of Fraternal Order of Police. On your agenda today is an issue that uh, strikes at the heart of uh, uh, negotiations and contracts that are developed between the city of Pittsburgh and the FOP. I'm opposed to the settlement of $85,000 to uh, Kathy McNeely. For the following reason, Commander McNeely fully understood that the contract between the city of Pittsburgh and the Fraternal Order of Police ex prohibited exposing the personal record of the officer. Commander McNeely also recognized that she would be in violation of the rules and regulations by exposing the officer's file to city council and resulting exposure to the media. Commander McNeely stated in the federal court that she had talked to city attorney Hugh McGaugh and, and he explained that the DAR that she wished to file against Officer Frank Rendy could not be filed because it was beyond the 120 120 day rule of the contract between the city and the Fraternal Order of Police. Commander, Commander McNeely stated, let the chips fall where they may. Commander McNeely has been a commander for many years, and she knowingly threw caution to the wind in her attempts to stop Dennis Regan from becoming the director of public safety at the expense of the rules, regulations, and the contract that she enjoyed. I do not believe that giving a reward of $85,000 to Commander McNeely and paying twice that amount to her attorneys because the mayor does not wish to line the pockets of Commander McNeely's attorney is good enough reason not to fight this case in court. The city of Pittsburgh has an obligation to the unions that it makes contracts with to respect the agreements and stand behind them. I know the city council does not like to oppose the law department when it makes a recommendation, but I would ask you take a long, hard look at the door that you're opening by paying this paying this suit off. The premise of, of it being a First Amendment right has been violated. Many, poli many police officers are compelled by the rules and regulations to respect the privacy of citizens who file complaints against their neighbors. Officers sometimes drawn into the intimate lives of our citizens, and again, they are compelled to respect the privacy because of the rules and regulations. Commander McNeely was part of writing these rules and regulations that force officers not to divulge private privacy information. She was aware of that when she exposed Frank, Officer Frank Rendy's personnel file. Please don't reward her for breaking the rules that she will insist that officers working under her command must obey. Please give this a great deal of serious thought. I have given you a copy of the rules and regulations that she violated, and I have also given you a copy uh, in the package of information of the contract which specifically states that she cannot divulge personnel information. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Miller.